Hello again, and welcome to French Hawes Bear Review. Uh, this is Scott. I'm Jeff. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Forgot that part. Figured you guys knew. Yeah. Uh, there's some new viewers coming on board, though. Always. Yes. So you gotta make yeah. sure your constant audience is growing every day. We appreciate it. Uh, we got one here by uh, by Trillium out of Canton, Mass. They also have a place in Boston. Um, we've been waiting to uh, review some of these, and uh, I had a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Wenzel, picks them up uh, last week, and I got a couple four packs. So we are ready to start cranking out some of these reviews. All right, well, let's uh, start with the important stuff. Yeah, uh, it's called Dial Then. Pretty decent label. Actually, I, I do like the label actually a lot. Um, yeah, double IPA at 8.5%. Yes, it's a good percentage. We like that. Always. Yeah. So, uh, this has got some uh, some different hops that we hadn't heard of Nelson, Solven, Solven, Solven hops, and Galaxy and Columbus hops. Uh, Galaxy, we see used quite a bit. Um, by Trillium and Treehouse it has uh, a lot of stuff with Galaxy. Very uh, cloudy, obviously unfiltered, which is typical for Trillium. Pretty good pour, sir. He's gone out before. A few times. It's got a. It's got one of the old school uh, phones on there, the rotary phones. Kids who just turned 21, you probably have no idea what that is. No. But um, yeah, you used to have to actually dial with your fingers on the phone. It's crazy. But um, so this one has uh, Sauvignon Blanc grape juice in it. That was fancy. You even rolled your R's. I did, no I, R did right. roll. <laughs> I did all right with that, didn't I? Um, which is supposed to dry it out a little bit. So we'll see. The smell is freaking phenomenal. Phenomenal. Great. It is a great smell there. Very cloudy Milky. though, almost like a, Milky, yeah. almost like a grayish, more grayish, almost a little. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Oh, cheers to you! We haven't done the cheers in a little while. Cheers, sir. Huh. All right. A little different than the last one. Very different. Uh, who put the wine in my beer? That's what I'm getting. Right in the back. Right in the back here. The taste buds. Definitely dry finish. <sighs> yeah, a little fruitiness. Not as much as I expected, though. A little bit. The second sip was better. You've got to take two. The third might even. You know my rule. Yeah, it's getting me right, right back there. Though. That's the dryness from the. I'm not a wine drinker at all. Um, so this is a. Uh, I mean, if it's on the table at a wedding and it's free, I'm gonna drink it. But I'm not. I've never bought a bottle of wine for myself, ever. Um, I've drank some wine. This is a. Uh, it's a white grape. It's a. Uh, the block. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, uh, no alcohol bite at, at eight and a half percent. No, this is really different. I've never quite tasted a beer like this. Um, I like it, I could drink this very high alcohol percentage 8.5. Um, I don't, it's not the typical boozy flavor for me, it's a wine booziness that I taste. It's not a typical IPA flair, double IPA flair. No, not at all. The hops are... I mean, maybe it's those Nelson Sauvin hops blending in with the juice or whatever, but yeah. they're almost camouflaged. There's no head left on it. The head went right away. Um, yeah, I got a hop smell and maybe a hop taste up front, but it, it goes away pretty quick. And then uh, those wine grapes are uh, hitting pretty hard. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, read it up. Give a review here. That's what we're here for, right? Someone said that. <laughs> uh, right. 
Um, if you guys are watching for the first time, they don't give us nines. They don't give us nines. But I, that's what I was getting to. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, <laughs> subscribe and comment. We, we're, we're like dying for comments. We got subscribers, but we don't get a lot of comments. So. Yeah, we do want some comments. Tell us how good we look, how bad we look. So uh, We can't do much with our hair, though. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. You either like it or you don't. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, give my review uh, as a 6.5. Wow, really? I can't get past the, uh, the wine flavors that these grapes are bringing out and um, I see I kind of see what they were trying to do with uh, drying it out but um, all I'm getting is wine right in the back here my taste buds and uh, it's a little distracting for me so uh, a little disappointed actually yeah I would say you are with that kind of rating I am uh, I gave it an eight I liked it uh, I like that dry finish it doesn't leave any off flavors behind it's not too fruity. It's definitely not citrusy and piney like I almost expected it to be. Um, it's just a, uh, it's a solid double IPA that's a little, you know, it, it's different. And I like the different. I do like this too. I do like things that are different, but different in a way that I uh, enjoy. Probably uh, if you like wine, maybe. I don't like wine. I didn't like it. Jeff drinks a little yeah, wine. I mean, this is so, a wine I would uh, drink. It's not a wine I would drink, but it's uh, definitely I, goes good. With I wine. like the fact that they try a little something different. Absolutely, Maybe like uh, dogfish head experiments, like crazy with stuff. And um, we should want nice to see it different. We will. Yeah, we had a uh, um, donation from uh, Big Tom Riley, which we're gonna get to soon. All right, excellent. From, uh, Thanks, Big Tom Riley. Yeah. Donations are always accepted. I mean. There's always confusion on if you should drink a beer or not, and that's why we're here. Yeah. Don't so, drink it until we try it. Please let us know if, 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 you, if you don't know. We'll check it out for you. Um, but uh, that's our review for the uh, Dialed In by Trillium out of Canton, Mass. Double IPA. A little kind of different views here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a little above average, and he was a little bit higher than that. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's the thing. Beer is different for everyone. It's an experience. Cheers to you, sir, and you as well. Enjoy, comment, like, subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.